All I heard was a voice from outside the door say, I know there is not a man in there with that woman. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, New Era Mar, back again with another video for y'all. You already know what time it is. It's story time. You feel me? So we about to get into it. As you can see from the title, I'm about to tell y'all a very embarrassing story about the time I got caught doing the nasty. Hopefully you can learn a valuable lesson from this, kids. You know what I'm saying? If you're watching this, I hope you learn a lesson and you, 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 you pick up something from this. So before we even get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button for your boy. You know what I'm saying? Hit the subscribe button. I got you. I'm going to keep these videos coming. You know what I'm saying? I got you. And um, if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. You know what I'm saying? You can hit it early. You can hit it right now if you want. But if you don't want to, that's cool too. You can wait till you see the video. It don't matter. But without further ado, let's get into it. This is the time I got caught having sex. We knew era soldiers. I thought I told you we knew era soldiers. I thought I told you we knew era soldiers. I thought I told you we knew era soldiers. I thought I told you we knew. So when this story started, I was like 17 years old. I think I was 17. It was my senior year of high school, right? And I was dating this girl, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna say no names, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just refer to her as my girl <laughs> at the time. The girl I was dating, she went to a different school. So I didn't get a chance to see her like often, like throughout the week or like nothing like that. Like back then, we could only really see each other like on weekends, you know what I'm saying? Like you, the weekend was the time that y'all could link up. And us being young and still in high school or whatever, like we still, of course, we living with our parents and we ain't got no money to get hotel rooms and nothing like that. We ain't even really working, I don't think. We don't have a, like a specific spot that we can have sex at you know what i mean so like back then you got to get creative like i'm sure a lot of y'all know you know when you ain't got nowhere else to do it you just find anywhere to do it you know what i'm saying whether you gotta sneak somebody in your crib or you gotta sneak to somebody else's crib or you gotta you gotta do it in the back of a car or whatever you gotta you gotta find somewhere to do it so this particular i remember a particular day it was like one weekend i wanted to see her however i didn't I wanted to, I wanted to get, I wanted to have sex, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was in the mood, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get it in, that's the only thing I could think about, we gotta find a way to do it. And she was with it, of course, she was like, yo, I'm cool with that, I'm trying to get it in too, you know what I mean? So we on the same page, I'm like, all right, bet. So I'm like, yo, should I come to your crib? And she was like, nah, my people's is over here, I'm like, all right. And my people's is home too, you know what I'm saying? It's the weekend, of course, everybody's parents is home. We don't have a car, I wasn't driving at the time, I mean, I had my license, but I didn't have a car. And my mom was not about to let me take her car because she didn't, you know, she always assumed, like, you can't drive. You don't know what you're doing. So I ain't had no whip that time. So I ain't had no, I couldn't pick her up and take her nowhere. It wasn't, I didn't know what to do. But I do know there's always one particular spot that I can go to that if it goes according to plan, it always works out. And as you may know, I'm sure some of y'all did it too. But the spot I'm talking about, is the movie theater it's like three malls in my city for real two of them have a movie theater in them one of them one of them the, the movie theater in the first mall is huge and everybody goes to that movie theater like they that's a real movie theater like they play the new movies that come out and everything you know what i'm saying like everybody goes there with their families all the time it's really rare that you're gonna go there and there's not people there you know what i'm saying but the other mall this other mall, it ain't really got no stores that nobody go to. And they got like a real, a real cheap movie theater. Like they only got like three theaters in it. It's only like three movies playing at a time. And like, it's real corny because the movies is old and out of date. You know what I'm saying? Like not, not super out of date, but like they be playing them months later. Like right now they're probably playing Black Panther. Talking about, yo, this the new John. But come on, like, come on, dog. We got that on DVD now. You know what I'm saying? You could watch that anywhere. We used to go to that, that mall when you was trying to be alone with a female. You know what I'm saying? Because we know most people ain't going there. Nobody's going in that theater. Nobody wants to see them cheap movies. Like they be playing little kid movies like The Incredibles or 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 some, something real cheesy that nobody wants to watch so we would always go there and um 
that's where you would go to take a girl and hopefully get it in. You know what I'm saying? And I would know. I already know how it worked because I had lost my virginity there. But that's that's a completely different story. Let's not get off topic. Anyway, I knew we was going to go there and I think it was a good chance that we could get it in. But I had to see if she was with it. So I told her about it. I didn't want to make it seem like I just always do this. <laughs> but um, I was just like, yo, um... I know a place we can go, it's a movie theater, it's a risk, but like, it's like nobody really be there or whatever. So she was like, all right, cool. So I'm like, all right, bet. So she, we agreed that Saturday we was gonna go. Um, I was gonna get a ride, she was gonna get a ride. We was gonna meet there, so we did. We meet up at the mall. When we first get there, we walk around. We ain't really buy nothing, we just walking around. And then we end up going to the theater, so we get in there. And if I'm not wrong, I think the movie that we ended up going to see was Men in Black. Um, I think the third one. And mind you, this theater is mad cheap too. This is why people go there. The theater is mad cheap. I mean, you get what you pay for. It's only $2 for ticket. You could pay $2 for my ticket, $2 for her ticket. Then like, that's $4. Now you can get like a large popcorn for $2. You can get a large drink for another two dollars you get two boxes of candy for two dollars so that's six dollars right there plus the four to get in that's ten dollars and honestly that's all i had that day all i had was ten dollars on me so that was all we was about to that's all we could do anyway so what happened was we got in the theater we sitting there we chilling and just like i suspected it's nobody in there it's an empty theater i'm like all right back we good so of course, you know, we watch a little bit of the movie. You don't just go straight for it. You know what I mean? You gotta chill a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta ease into it. So we sitting there, we chilling. I end up putting my arm around her. We laid up, she laying on my shoulder, whatever. And the next thing you know, you know, now it's time to start getting physical. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to, I'm about to start pressing some buttons. So now I'm, you know, I'm rubbing her arms. Then, you know, you start rubbing her thighs a little bit and boom, you, you, you get what I'm saying? I ain't gotta say too much. So we doing all that and then you know now she touching me and she you know what i mean so now i'm getting to a point where i'm like all right i know where the next step leads to i think she's ready to go i'm ready to go it's time to whip out <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i go to unzip i'm like yeah. i'm like all right let me unzip the pants but when i go to unzip all i hear is the door open to the theater just boom the door open up so i stop and i'm like yo what the you know what i'm saying so i'm looking i look back See, it's this old couple walking in, and I'm like, oh, damn. All right, now we got to stop. So now we sitting there, I'm just trying to act normal like we watching the movie. So I wait, the old people walk in, I see them walk in. I'm like, all right, hopefully they don't come back here and sit by me. You know what I mean? So when they walk in, they go all the way to the front of the theater. Mind you, we sitting all the way in the back. We post up in the back row. You know, young people, we ain't about to go sit in the front row. That's corny. Like, you can't even see the movie. You up there looking like this, the whole movie. Like, that's mad childish. So, we sitting all the way in the back. I'm like, that's perfect. They can't see us. They under the under the, the uh, screen, so I know they can't hear us. Boom. I'm thinking we can still, you know what I mean, do us. So we go back to kissing and doing, you know, our thing. And then it comes to the point again where I'm about to, it's time to whip out officially this time. Like, all right, now I'm about to, I'm ready to go. So I look up, old heads is still watching the movie. They ain't even looking at us. They cuddled up too. I look at her, she cool and she still, you know what I mean? She, so I'm ready to go. I'm like, all right, bet. So I'm unzipping, I'm ready to pop it out. I'm like, it's time to go. Right when I unzip, zip. The door open again, boom. I'm like, all right. So I, I, I zip right back up, boom. Now I gotta act normal again. I'm like, who coming now? I'm thinking like, yo, I know we ain't got no security in here or nothing. Now, mind you, when this door opens the second time, this should have been the ultimate sign. If the, the first time when I was about to pop off and the door opened, that should have been a sign. But in case that wasn't it, it was reiterated. Like God reiterated it again, like, I think that's a word, is that a word? He gave me the sign again, like, boom, if you case you ain't get it, here it go again. You shouldn't do this, you know what I'm saying? So when the door opened the second time, now I'm like, come on now, like who this is? Like, 
this should have told me to just chill. It's, it's not that serious. Just let it rock. So I wait to see where this couple come in. They a little younger. They like in their early 20s or something maybe. So they walk in the theater and they coming up and I see them look like they about to come sit in the back. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to get mad. But I guess they see us back there and they was like, oh, okay, cool. So they start sitting like in the middle, like still kind of towards the front, but like in the middle part. So I'm like, all right, that's not that bad. Maybe I can still finesse this some type of way. So now we back at it. We um we start kissing and stuff a little bit, but now I can tell she's not really feeling it like she was. Like she's kind of like keep looking at the people and these people. It's like two two couples in there or whatever. So I'm like, all right, she ain't really feeling it. But I'm like, I'm still trying to push it. Like yo, like don't worry about them. I don't think they can see us. We are gonna figure this out somehow. So we got to do something. I go to whip out again. I'm like, yo, it is what it is. I'm gonna just pop out now. Like I'm gonna just see what she do. Like what we gonna do so i go to unzip again i'm ready to go this time I'm like yo i'm about to something's about to go down damn that so i'm unzipping boom just as i'm unzipping the door opens again boom as soon as the door opens it was like some little kids it looked like a, a school field trip or something dog like it was like a field trip i'm like yo how is all these little kids coming in right now it was like a school bus of kids and like one one adult with them and they was they walked them all the way in the theater and of course they bring them to the back so they could sit down and they all line it up like in the row like two rows in front of us it's like a whole row of little kids sitting down now all of a sudden i'm like yo what type of yo who had field trips on saturday like i i'm baffled you know what i'm saying like i got a straight attitude now so i'm like yo nah yo i'm not doing this i'm out I don't even want to see this corny ass movie anyway. Let's be out. I hop up, I grab my, uh, grab my stuff. Let's be out. I grab her. She, she get up. We walk out the theater. Now we walk in. Now we back in the mall. Now you know what I'm saying. We walking through the mall, and I'm tight. I'm tight. I'm livid. Like I'm walking around the mall with the Woody. You know what I'm saying. I got the Woody. So now we walking around. I'm all mad. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. How the kids come? Where the kids come from? And we walking through the mall. We looking through stores and stuff and i'm mad disappointed i'm like all right i thought it was gonna work it ain't gonna work i ain't getting no buns today it's not happening so i'm like it is what it is man whatever so i start calming down over time and mind you the girl the whole time she's not really saying nothing she's just laughing like she's laughing how mad i am so i'm thinking i'm just being a dude like i'm just i'm a man so i'm just a little more anxious than her she ain't really tripping we ended up just walking around wasting time in different stores like i was like we might as well just enjoy each other's company other than just trying to have sex it is what it is so we walk around the mall and whatever and we end up going in like like jc pennies or sears i think it was sears we go in the store and we looking around and um i see her like all of a sudden she start like picking up clothes and stuff and i'm like oh you about to you about to buy some stuff and she was like nah i ain't got no money and i'm like oh so i'm thinking like oh okay why she doing that but she picking up stuff off the rack she's like yeah, i'm gonna grab this i'm gonna take this oh, i'm gonna definitely rock this this is cool so I'm like, yo, she, what, she, what you picking all that stuff up for? So I'm like, ah, I guess we just window shopping or something. Like, I don't know what's going on. But now I'm thinking, I'm like, you know, the more stuff she picking up, I'm like, yo, she, she might be a, she a thief? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking she about to steal the clothes. I'm like, hold up, baby. Like, I, I get it. Like, I'm, I'm mad too that we couldn't get in there. But like, I ain't about to steal from the store because I'm not mad. Or I'm not petty like that. You know what I mean? It ain't that deep. We could just try it again another day. But she, um, she was like, yo, I'm about to go in the dress room. I'm about to try this on. Just wait right here. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, whatever. I'm like, what's she trying it on for if she ain't got no bread? You know what I mean? I don't believe in that. I think that's real pointless. So I'm like, I don't see the point of this. So she go in the uh, dressing room and she, uh, she trying her stuff on or whatever. And I'm just sitting there chilling. I'm just waiting for her to get back out. Next thing you know, all I hear is. I look back at the uh, dressing room and she's sitting there waving to me like, yo, come here, come here. I'm like, I'm like, what the hell she doing? So I run over there real quick and she was like, yo, is anybody around looking looking at you? I'm like, I look around, I'm like, nah, ain't nobody out here. She's like, I right, come in here. She grabbed me and I come in the uh, dressing room. Boom, she shut the door back. I'm like, what we doing? I'm like, what you doing? You trying to steal? She was like, nah, I don't, we don't want this stuff. I'm trying to get it in. You feel me? I'm like, oh. Oh, you a freak. I said, oh, you a freak freak. Like, you you on my type time. I thought I was the only one. I'm like, oh, snap. Let me find out. I'm like, okay, you know what? Now I'm hyped. Now I'm hyped. And I'm proud of her. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of her because she's taking initiative. 
know what I'm saying? I call that taking initiative. I'm like, you know what? You're thinking. You're thinking. You, you're using your brain. We here with it. You know what I'm saying? That type of thinking in relationships is that that's how we gonna last 20 to 30 years. You know what I'm saying? That's how couples be lasting in the long run. You know what I'm saying? They last long term thinking like you thinking. I like that. Now we ain't last 20, 30 years, but we got like a cool two, two and a half year run, but it is what it is. So anyway, we sitting in there now, and she like, yo, let's go, like hurry up, like let's get it in. I'm like, I right, bet. Now it's my time to shine. I'm ready. I'm like, I'm about to do what we finally, what I've finally been trying to do the whole time. I'm finally about to accomplish it. You know what I do? Bow, whip out. Now I'm ready to go. She like, all right, cool. So I don't want to give too much detail. You know what I mean? Cause I don't want to get too graphic cause that ain't really how I rock usually on my channel. You know what I mean? There might be some kids watching, but let's just say, uh, we trying to participate in some foreplay. Let's let's say that, some foreplay. That's what we doing right now. We in the stall and we doing whatever we doing. Next thing you know, I get a phone call from my grandpa. My grandpa is calling me and mind you, he's my ride, he's who dropped me off. So um, I told him I only needed, I told him I was only gonna be at the mall for like two hours or something. So he was like, all right, I'm gonna pick you up. I'm about to make a run, whatever. So I'll pick you up on the way back. I think he had to go grocery shopping or something. He said, so on the way back, I'll just pick you up. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm thinking I was gonna go see this movie real quick, get it in and by the time I'm done, pick me up, I'm out. So I, I forgot all about him, but he ended up calling like, yo, is you ready? But I'm not trying to answer the phone right now in the in the stall because I don't want them to hear another voice in here. Like I think I'm like, I'm sure they seen her go in there, but I don't want them to think like, yo, where's that dude that she was with? I try to just ignore the call. So I just let it go to voicemail. And I'm like, All right, let's keep going. Boom, we doing us. Next thing you know, he call again. I'm like, yo, what's up? He keep calling. He gonna keep calling. There's no way I'm gonna be able to avoid this. So I'm like, yo, hold up real quick. Let me answer this call. So I'm trying to be as quiet as I can. As I'm trying to be quiet on the phone, I'm like, yo, what's up? He was like, yo, you need me to come pick you up right now. And I'm like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be ready in like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I'm trying to whisper to him. And he like, he all loud on the phone. He like, all right, bet. I'm about to come get you then. All right, I'll be there like 15 minutes. You said 15? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, 15. He like, all right, bet. I'll be out front. Where you want me to meet y'all front? I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just meet me out front. He like, all right, cool. So I hang up the phone. I swear to y'all, it's like, as soon as I hung up the phone, at that very moment, I said, click. All I heard was a voice from outside the door say, I know there is not a man in there with that woman. When I tell you my heart sank in my chest, like the only way to describe that feeling is it had to be like, it had to be like when a drug dealer is driving and he got bricks in the trunk and his gun is under his seat and he's driving and the next thing you know, the cop lights come on behind him. And you know it's over. Like, oh, I'm caught. The scariest feeling of all time, dog. And I was feeling it at that very moment. And I'm like, hold up. And I'm I'm hoping that they're not talking to us. I'm like, okay, maybe they're like talking to like another star. But I'm like, who else would be the other star? Empty, I think. All I remember was the dude was like, is there a man in there right now? I think he might have been gay. Um, just because he had the little feminine voice, like he was making the S's real and real strong and his mannerisms was real crazy. But anyway, so he was just like, I, is there a man in there? And I was like, and I ain't say that. And I'm looking at her. I'm like, yo, what should I, what should I say? Is he talking to me? She was like, Man, just don't say that. And I was like, I don't know. And then he knocked on the door. Boom, boom, boom. And that's when I knew he was talking to us. I was like, oh. I was like, I, I, ain't, I was like, yo, we caught. I have to get out of here. We gotta leave now. Like, it's nothing else we can do. So I hurry up. Now I'm pulling my pants back up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, just, I'm back. I'm ready to be. I'm like, all right, let me think how I'm gonna do this. So I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm in here. <laughs>
ain't know what else to say. I'm like, I mean, I'm caught now. I'm in here. It is what it is. So he was like, come out right now. I wait till she heard, but get her stuff on. She good. She ready. I'm like, I'm good. All right, but when I came out, I looked at him. And he said, why are you in there with her? And he was like, how old are you guys? Y'all look young. And I'm like, it really don't even matter. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just like, I'm like nah, we, we old enough. And he was like, why are you in there with her? I was like, I was just helping her. She wanted my opinion on like the stuff she was trying on. So I just went in there. He was like, you don't have to go in there for that. I was like, okay. And he was like, I should call the police. I have them, I have the phone right here and he's holding up this huge phone. Like this phone is huge, mind you. Like this phone looks like it was like one of them phones from the nineties. And I'm like, yo, why does he have that brick in his hand? But he was like, I can call the police right now. Do you want me to do that? Like, I'm gonna say, yeah, I got a question. Can you bring them here? I need them to help me find my way home anyway. Like, I, no, I don't want you to call the police. So I'm like, I'm like, man, I'm like, nah, you ain't gotta do that. And he's sitting there like getting, making a whole scene and he was looking at her. Then he starts talking to her and he's like, sweetheart, you don't ever have to let a man degrade you and do and he's giving her this whole speech about woman empowerment like he's a woman and i'm like yo i don't gotta hear this so i took flight i just start walking i start walking to the door and he's like hey come back here like like so illuminati he said you gonna have to catch me <laughs> you know what I'm saying? so i start get to the door once i got to the door it was nothing he could tell me i ended up running like to the parking lot and when I got to the parking lot, I'm like, oh shoot. I can see like the little security, um, the little security dudes is driving around in the little golf carts. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, why are they driving in them jump? But they walk, you know, they securing the premises, make sure everything cool. So I'm just looking at them and they driving by and I'm like, oh shoot. So I just stopped running because I don't want to look obvious. Like, what is you running from? They gonna stop. And I don't even know if he called security yet. So I'm like, he, they might not know yet. So I just start walking. And when they get past me, then I look back they was gone. I flew. I started dipping. Ran around the mall. I mean, ran around like the, the, the Sears Park to the other side where the mall entrance was. And when I got in the mall, I was just sitting in the, like the little entrance part in the little lobby. And I'm just standing in there. And I'm like, all right, dad, let me call my grandpa again. So grab my phone. I call him. I'm like, yo, is you close? And he was like, yeah, I'm almost there. I'm like, all right, back. Mind you, I left my girl um this whole time she's still in there talking to the dude i think so i don't know what happened to her all i know is he seemed to be on her side like he was telling her sweetheart you don't gotta let this man degrade you or whatever so i was thinking like she could play on that like yeah i know you're right can i just can you just help me get out of here like he he was looking out for her but he was mad at me he was like yo what you doing in there with her like he was mad at me so i'm like he ain't gonna make no scene with me I'm out, dog. She was she was a little mad about that. I ain't gonna lie, but it's all good. We end up getting past it. So I'm sitting in the lobby now, and I'm like, yo, where's she at? So I start calling her phone. I'm like, let me call her and see where she at. She not answering, though. So I'm like, oh, damn. I'm like, all right, whatever. I gotta be out there. So I'm just sitting in the lobby waiting. I'm waiting for my ride. Next thing you know, I see security. They just like, I see these security guards. They like driving past, like the same dudes, and they driving past, and they, I see them looking around, and I'm like, Yo, is they looking for me? So I'm like, oh shoot. So I ducked like behind this little pillar. It was like a little pillar in the lob in the lobby and it's like a trash can next to it. So I'm ducked behind the trash can, acting like I'm tired of my shoes. So when people coming in and out the door, I'm just acting like I'm tired of my shoes. I'm like, how y'all doing? Hi, you know, I'm little peeking over. I'm like, dang, I hope they don't see me. So now I'm just waiting for my ride. Next thing you know, as I'm sitting there tying my shoes, a hand just touches my shoulder and I jump and I was like, oh, I'm caught. I'm about to go to jail. And I look up, and it was just my homie Sean, like, my homie Sean that I knew. Like, he just just randomly was there. He was like, yo, what's up, bro? What you doing? And I was like, oh, man, nigga. Like, what is you doing? You scared me. I had a straight attitude. He was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, yo, come here. And I pulled him I pulled him down with me. I said, get down, nigga. He was like, what, what you doing? What you, was you stealing? I was like, nah, I ain't still nothing. And I got caught trying to get some cheeks. He was like, what? And I told him the story real quick. He was he started bugging. <sighs> Next thing you know, my grandpa pulled up. I flew out to the car. When I seen him pull up, I told my man, I said, all right, bro, peeled to the car, hopped in. When I got in the car, he was like, yo, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I was like, nothing, I'm good. 
he ended up taking me, uh, we ended up going back to his crib. And then like, I remember the whole way there, I was just paranoid. I couldn't wait till we got out of the parking lot. Like, I'm just looking around. I'm like, yo, like, is they following us? I'm thinking that like the security following us. I'm ducked in the seat. He was like, yo, what you, what are you doing in the mall? I was like, nothing, I'm good. Like, I'm just tired. I, kept text, I ended up texting her. I was like, yo, you ain't, why you ain't answering the phone? And she was like, oh, I'm already at the crib. <laughs> I'm like, at the crib? I was like, how you how you get to the crib already? Like, I'm, I'm just getting in the car on my way. But yeah, that, that had to be like the craziest day ever. Like, I was so paranoid that day, dog. Like, and I ain't been right ever since, man. That's how I got caught having sex. So the moral of the story is, kids if you're going to do it do not have sex in public don't do it it's not worth it it ain't even that deep like if you if you gotta find little sneaky places to do it you shouldn't even be doing it for real for real you know what i mean so i'm gonna just keep it real with you don't even don't even do it like it, it, you really should wait till marriage like my mama told me i'm gonna keep it real with you because i always try to keep it real with y'all but Y'all ain't gonna listen anyway. So if you if you're not gonna listen and you are gonna still do it, which most of y'all is, then just do it somewhere safe. Do it at somebody crib where you know ain't nobody, ain't nobody there. You're not gonna get arrested. You know, your mom might catch you, but at least, uh, I guess that's better than the police, right? Not really. That's my story time. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Her hope y'all got a good laugh. Um Make sure you comment below if you want me to keep these story times coming. Let me know what my next story time should be, and I got you. Um, make sure you subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. It's your boy, New Aramar. I'm out. Peace.